Inventing, reflecting, reasoning, reckoning. The Huddle. News Talk ZB, it is now 19 to 6. Jock Anderson from the uh, NZ Herald. Uh, hello, uh, Jock. Good day, Larry. And uh, Cameron Slater from Whale Oil. Hello again, Cam. Good day, Larry. All right, Jock. Uh, David Cunliffe calls it quits. He's not going to run. What do you see on this? You see the writing was on the wall some time ago. How do you view it? Yeah, it's, um, I guess, from the Labour Party's point of view, it's, um, it's uh, a bit too little, too late. Um, it's something I think he should have done earlier and uh, allowed um, the remnants of the Labour Party to try and get his act together and sort out a new leader. Um, it will be interesting to see from now on where Mr Cunliffe goes. Um, I have my own um, personal opinion on the view, and uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all if, in fact, he does offer his um, his resignation from Parliament at some point, perhaps in the new year. That would not surprise me at all. I think he's taken a, a king hit on this. Um, his pride and his reputation has been severely damaged. I don't think he really appreciated in himself um, that he was really the wrong guy in, in the wrong time. And uh, it will not surprise me at all, Larry, if he goes. Cameron, I think he was desperately trying to get the numbers and he felt he was a long way short. And we had Mr Parker and Mr Little into the race as well. And I agree with uh, Jock on this. I think he will walk um, probably after Christmas at some point. Well, if he had any humility at all, and we've seen over the... Uh, past few years that David Cunliffe actually doesn't possess any of that. Uh, if he had any decency even, he would be announcing his resignation from Parliament immediately. His political career is over. It is finished. He cannot be resurrected in any way, shape or form. Uh, and and the reality is is that when you're as washed up as he is, then the, you're best to get out and go somewhere else. The interesting thing, Jock, is about being washed up and you can't be resurrected. Uh, a lot of people would have said that about John Howard in Australia and Kevin Rudd. They were washed up and they came back, Jock. You know, it is possible. They're Australians. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they do things differently over there. Um, it's much more of an enjoyable game, I think, in Australia, the politics game. But I think at the end of the day, and you know, and not being particularly un wanting to be particularly unkind to Mr. Cunliffe, um, he has got a, he's lost an enormous amount of, of personal mana over this, and it will take a while it'll take a while for anyone to come back from this blow. He will always be remembered. But, well, Jock, I think he should put the boot in because that personal mana that he had was, was puffery on, from his own little team. Uh, he didn't have the support of his caucus in the first place. He, he only had the support of the hardcore rump of loony leftists that are, are remaining in the, in the party. They talk about this great democracy that exists within the Labour Party. We're talking about less than 5,000 people. Uh, who was selected, that do not represent the wider society. If you have a look around some of the left-wing blogs today at the comments, they're all saying it's fantastic that he's given the kiss of death to Andrew Little, that, uh, that Little can now come in and rinse all these people on the right and the ABCs and move Labour further to the left, and that'll be help them win in 2017. These people have rocks in their heads. They haven't seen that 65% of the, of the electorate voted for centre-right parties in the last election, and their solution is to be further left. Frankly, the Labour Party is a dead duck. I don't think for a minute that his, um, his support of Andrew Little, if that's what he's um, given today, I don't think that's going to help Mr Little at all. No, not at all. I, I agree with, with much of what you say. But I think... You know, from the man's point of view, rightly or wrongly, he believed that he could walk on water. He believed he was going to be the next Norman Kirk. Well, he you thought know. he was the Messiah, but yeah. in reality, he was actually just a very naughty boy. Yeah. So his, to, to Larry, what you said, I think his chances of making a comeback in the future are mm. non-existent. Uh, we'll come back in just a moment and talk some more on this. Jock Anderson and Cam Slater. News Talk ZB, it's 15 to 6. Bring home the point. It's Larry Williams Drive with ANZ, providing business banking expertise near you on News Talk ZB. Back with Jock Anderson and Cam Slater. Cam, let's uh, carry on with Mr Cunliffe and who's uh, in the race now. So we've got Mr Little, Mr Parker and Mr Robertson, Mr Shearer we don't know about uh, at this point. But Mr Little is now saying he would like as a deputy, I, I think this is what he's saying, a female Maori or Pacific Islander. I would have thought you would have picked the best candidate for your deputy, no matter, you know, well, where they come from. The party doesn't believe in meritocracy. They believe in quotas, bans, 
uh, restrictions. But using that criteria, uh, I think you could almost uh, uh, pick that the, uh, the person who's going to be his deputy will be Louisa Wall. She's a woman, she's Maori, and she's lesbian. So she fits all of the all of the quotas that are going to be required in order to placate the various factions that are in the Labour caucus. How do you see this, Jock? Well, I thought it was a weird one. If that's in fact what he's saying, because again, I agree with Cam. Um, it's not a democratic process, and they are trying to, to if you like, um, appease all sorts of strange factions within the Labour. I think it's too early for a, a potential leader, someone who wants to be a leader to start saying now um, who they would indicate. I mean, he's got Nanaya Mahuta at his side there as well. Um, she would fit part of the bill. Tainted um, with Cunliffe, though. But, um, you know, I mean, who else has he got? But uh, it's, it's, a, 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 it's a talent pool that's as, as thin as a car park puddle in the heat of summer. Which I guess to some extent brings the spotlight back on someone like um, um, David, what's his name, David Parker. Parker. <laughs> Don't you think, though, I mean, Mr Parker appears to be a nice kind of guy, but is he Prime Minister material? He looks a bit Bill Rowling-ish to me. Well, he makes Bill Rowling look dynamic, really. <laughs> I mean, I mean that, 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 that's a hard ask in the, in the first instance. But, I mean, it real, really, when you look at it, I mean, anyone who, who puts up Jacinda Ardern as a potential uh, deputy has never spent more than 30 minutes with her. I mean, I had the displeasure of a, of a three-hour lunch with her in the 2008 um, election campaign, and I was bored witless after about 30 minutes because she's nothing but a collection of bumper stickers, and her CV is thinner than Nikki Kay's. All right, issue number two, Jock. Uh, just briefly, the government has announced details of a review into the government's powers to deal with New Zealanders uh, becoming foreign fighters overseas, so this is going to take some... Uh, some time, obviously, about a month, and they're going to consult with the other parties. So I think this is the right way to go about it, don't you? Yeah, totally agreed. Um, this had to happen. Uh, things are getting worse, um, you know, with the ISIS um, terrorists and all the others around the world who would um, like to murder us and blow people up. Um, why it has to take a month, I don't know. Uh, maybe they should be fast-tracking um, some of this. Um, but, uh, you know, this is inevitable. It has to be done. And, you know, just wait for the squeals. They've probably already started, um, you know, from the hand-rigging, you know, sort of human rights people, you know, who will say, oh, no, this is dreadful, we're going to be surveilled, this is going to happen, that's going to happen. Well, it's the real world, and we have to protect uh, this nation, uh, and we have to have proper security mm. and intelligence. Cam? I uh, totally agree with Jock. Uh, you know, th th we have scumbags among us. We have people that are assisting aiding, abetting, and even plotting uh, to, to commit crimes, uh, crimes against New Zealand citizens. And you, you only have to talk to a couple of people who have actually been in Iraq or been in Syria. And, and there's one uh, MP who, in fact, made a speech in Parliament about some documents that he discovered when he was in an operation in Iraq, which clearly points out the uh, involvement of Kiwis in New Zealand in assisting terrorism. And, uh, look, I've got no time for mm. terrorists and the scumbag people that support them. And, uh, you know, there are some moderates out there. Uh, you know, just today I posted an article by uh, Sheikh Mohammed from, from Dubai where, uh, you know, the UAE is participating in this fight against ISIS. He knows very well the danger of, of the ideas and the ideology right. of, of ISIS gaining foot, a foothold. Thank you, Cam. Cam Slater and Jock Anderson. It is now 7 to 6.